Thank you very much for joining us today. Today, we're going to talk about processing customer refunds in Acumatica. Let's take a look at our agenda. So in this example, we're going to enter a payment and we're going to apply the payment to an invoice. But the payment amount is going to be greater than the invoice amount, leaving us an unapplied payment. Now, instead of applying this payment to another invoice, the customers called us and asked us to refund their money. So we're going to process a customer refund in accounts receivable. But we have to go to accounts payable and create the check. And to do that, we have to create the vendor. So we'll walk through all of these steps. So the first thing we're going to do is apply our payment. So I'm going to go to payments and applications and create a new payment. I'll select my customer, USA Bartending School. And USA Bartending School has sent us a check for $10,000. We're going to apply that to an invoice. But when I do a lookup on the invoice, you can see I have two invoices with balances. One has a balance of $80,000 and one has a balance of $9,000. We'll go ahead and select the $9,000 invoice, leaving us an unapplied amount of $1,000. Let's go ahead and release that. Okay, now that that's been released, we can look at the financial information. And you can see very clearly for that payment that we debited our cash account for $10,000 and credited accounts receivable. So even though we've only applied the amount to one invoice, it still credits accounts receivable $10,000. Let's go ahead and close that. So back on our agenda, our next step is to create this customer refund. So back in Acumatica, we're going to start by looking at customer details for this customer. And as you can see, here's our unapplied payment that has $1,000 on it. Let's just go ahead and select that for a moment. Now what I'm gonna do is create a new record here with customer refund. Now I can just go to payments and applications and do that. I'm select my customer. And in the documents to apply section, it gives me some options on what I'm going to do for a customer refund. So if the customer has given us a prepayment or there's a credit memo on file and we're not going to subsequently apply those to invoices, we can just refund those. But in my example, it's a payment. So we're gonna choose payment and when I do a lookup, you'll see that payment hanging out here that has the balance of $1,000. So I'm just gonna select that and tell the system that my payment amount is $1,000, so everything's in balance, and release that. So once again, if I go to my customer details for that customer, you'll see that prepayment is no longer here because it's now been closed. I've used the other $1,000. So back in our agenda, we've entered the customer refund. Now in doing the customer refund, that has taken the $1,000 out of cash. So it's credited the cash account and now debited accounts receivable. So we're all close there, but now we actually need to send a check to the customer. Well, in Acumatica, we cannot send checks to customers. We can only send checks to vendors. So our next two steps are to create the vendor and then create the check. So in accounts receivable, I'm going to go to the customer record and I'm going to call the customer up. And there's a function under customers, under actions called extend to vendor. So what this is going to do is create a vendor with the same information that applies to the customer. But I do have to select a vendor class. So it's copied over the, the vendor ID, copied over their name and address and all this other stuff, and now we've just created this vendor. So we'll go ahead and save that. Now I'm gonna to go to the payable menu and talk about processing the check. There's actually a couple of different ways you could do this. One is you could create a bill and do that. 
but I'm going to do a quick check. Now, the trick here is to make sure that when you do the check that you post to the cash account, because remember, when we did the customer refund over on the accounts receivable side, it's already credited the cash account and debited the accounts receivable account. So we want to make sure that we don't hit those accounts anymore. So I'm going to do a quick check. So I'm going to enter the check information. So I'm going to select that vendor, U.S. Bartending School. Payment amount is check, and notice my check account here is 10200. So I just want to make sure that I post to that same account. So I'm going to just enter an amount of $1,000. That's my refund amount. And the account is going to be 10200. So now everything's fine. I'm just going to save this, take it off hold, save it, go to action, and let's go ahead and print our check. So here's our process payments screen. We'll say process. There's our check to print. And then I'll process the release of this payment. Close that. So there we are. So back on our agenda, just to refresh our memory here, we entered the payment. We applied the payment to the invoices. We had an overpayment amount, which we left unapplied. Then in accounts receivable, we entered the customer refund, which took the overpayment away, the unapplied overpayment. But we want to send a check to the customer. So we created the vendor from the customer and then we did a quick check to send a check to that vendor, which also is the customer. Now, for your information, we have another snapshot with tips and tricks on creating quick checks in Acumatica that you can check out. Thank you very much for joining us today. We really appreciate your time. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and find us on LinkedIn. You can contact us at NIMS and Associates at ERP at NIMSAssociates.com or call us directly at 877-454-3200, extension 6346. And once again, we thank you for your time. Music.